Oh, you know, just to play a lot of volleyball, which we've been fortunate to be in a lot of five set matches, not good on uh, the coaching staff maybe and with the roller coaster ride, but we got a lot of young players that haven't seen a lot of action. So preseason is just to kind of see where our strengths and weaknesses are and, and get those, um, you know, better, our weaknesses better so that we can go into conference with things kind of solidified and, and ready to go. Well, you know, you come home on Monday. Luckily, we got it taken care of the next day by, I think, just a mindset change. But there were some system things that we had to work out offensively that we've been working on. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time on defense and blocking and, and uh, serving in the preseason and felt like our offense was kind of, you know, there, that we didn't have to spend as much time. But we had a awakening when our passing broke down, our offense had some problems. So, you know, continuing to work on that. And we're working more on an off-system ball than an on-system ball in case our passing doesn't improve. It's important to be in every situation. We're gonna be in all those in conference play. In conference play, there is never a team on a Friday or Saturday night that you can say, oh, we're gonna go in the gym and go through the motions because every team in the Valley will present, um, you know, an obstacle and they'll present having good volleyball played. So. You know, if we're on like we were against Tulane, sometimes you get out of the gym with a 3-0, and if you're off, I told them the battle is then to get it back on before the match is over, and, and to deal with that adversity is, is really the key. She does a lot of things for us. She's probably the only, she is the only six rotation person, meaning that she passes, she hits, she blocks, she does a little bit of everything. So um, she's been real consistent. One of the things with her, we've just been able to make her realize that she doesn't have to carry the load offensively. We've had other people step up and, and step up as a team, you know, then we don't need as much from her. So that's been a big change in her mindset and what she has to do for this team. We have a shared leadership, really. Uh, I think the junior class has been huge. Uh, Bailey Yeager, Laura Tolley, Alyssa Mays, Rachel Brown, they've been the biggest leaders and, uh, you know, they're, they're really different people from uh, Mays and, and, and uh, Brown are a little bit more alike and then Yeager and Tolley are kind of more the loud vocal leaders where uh, Mays and, and uh, Brown are more your consistent, you know, quieter leaders but kind of out there. Uh, doing things as well, but different types of leadership. As we said, it's a good thing to try because the arena is there. It's a great facility. We get to take uh, full advantage of all the things like the video board and the bells and whistles that we see a lot in conference at almost every facility that we go to. Uh, the question is going to be atmosphere. You know, if we get a lot of people out and create some noise and. Uh, that atmosphere can be created, it might be a good thing, but um, I don't know, it'll definitely be interesting. Uh, Davies definitely is a place right now that teams in conference are really nervous to walk in and play in this environment. To play consistently, you know, we have three uh, pretty good teams and, and uh, we got to show that consistency, which we haven't yet. You know, Mississippi State, we didn't play all that well against Mississippi State, but we got a win. Played very well against uh, Southeast Louisiana and then didn't play so well against Martin in the two matches this past weekend. You can tell from the outcome uh, what we did, but to be consistent through, you know, throughout all three matches is really the goal.